So let's let me give you a little warning. When you decide to break your generational curses, you're going to be met with resistance from your family members that are still stuck in the trauma and the dysfunction. So when you express to them, you know, what has hurt you, what has taken place that has caused you pain in the family, don't even waste your time doing it. Internalize it and ask God to lead you and heal you. Write it down until they are ready, until they are in a space, a head space of them, for themselves to be able to accept what it is that you're saying. Because if you go to them now and you express, well, you know, this hurt me. And in order for me to heal from this, I need to, you know, express it and get it out. It's going to be met with resistance. Because all they're going to see is the old you and the old mistakes that you've made. And they're viewing you through the eyes of the dysfunction. So you have to have such a knowing in who you are and what the main goal is. And that is to heal that you're okay with nobody understanding what it is that you're doing. That you're not looking for the approval and the validation from anybody. If you need to forgive somebody and you feel like you need to express yourself for that forgiveness, write it down. Write it down as a personal note to yourself. Don't go and try to explain and try to get them to understand. Because they're stuck and they're seeing you through the eyes of dysfunction. So you get healed. You get all the way healed. You break the generational curses off of your bloodline. This is not an easy job. This is not a task that is should be taken lightly. And it's not for the faint at heart. Because God chose you. He chose you to break the curse. So you're going to have to literally face it. And sometimes you might have to face it alone. But if it was easy, people from generations ahead of you would have done it. It's not easy. But God called you to do it. All right? And you can do it. Don't focus on them. Focus on you. Look at them through the eyes of God in love. And if you have to, let them go. You can go back for them. But right now, the main thing is for you to get whole, for you to heal, for you to break the curse in your bloodline. All right. This is Coach K. I love you guys. Talk to me in the comments about this. Later.